Creel batting 294, four homers, 13 RBIs. Looking for his first pinch hit of the year. He's 0 for 4 in this department. No, the Reds are within three, but they need one more base runner to get the tying run to the plate. Wickman throwing and Creel taking ball one. Both bullpens at this stage of the game are completely quiet. We've seen Perez and Betancourt and Carmona before Whitman. And two balls and no strikes. The Reds have followed the five-inning stint turned in by Ramirez with Standridge and Jan and Merker. And the latter two, Jan and Merker, each gave up a run. Creel had two balls and no strikes. Ball three. We made the point before. A lot of times the closer coming in in a non-saving situation gets all out of sorts. Has problems that he might not otherwise have if he comes in to protect a game in a closing situation. And there's a call strike three and one. A run is in, Phillips is at third, but the Reds are still three down, eight to five, with two outs in the ninth. Ryan Preel taking ball four, and the tying run will be at the plate in Felipe Lopez. Lopez, single in the third, walked in the fifth, single in the seventh. What a comeback this would be if he were to crack one out of here now. And he'll step in with Phillips at third, with Friel at first. And Wickman straightens up and delivers. Friel goes, and the pitch is inside ball one. Do not credit Friel with a stolen base. I don't know what the difference was between what Friel did and what Kearns did. Because Whitman was working from the stretch in both cases. That's a ball. 2-0. Oh. Well, Eric Wedge has already been out there once, so if he goes back out there, he's going to go back out to take Whitman back with him. Lopez ahead, 2-0, and oh, runners at second and third. Two men out. Pitch. That's ball three. What is interesting about this season for Bob Whitman is that the next home run he gives up will be the first one he's given up in this 2006 year. Pitching, and he walked him, and they're loaded. Well, if nothing else, he has certainly made it interesting. Phillips at third, Creel at second, Lopez at first. Adam Dunn steps in against the right-hander who's yet to give up a home run this season. And a home run right now would cap off a rather impressive comeback. Here's Dunn, who's only hit tonight in four times a seventh-inning single. Had the double to win the game in the eighth inning last night. And the stretch by Whitman in the pitch. And it's taken high, ball one. They are pacing in the Cleveland dugout. Manager Eric Wedge, pitching coach Carl Willis. It is 8-5, Indians. Done up there with the bases loaded. The outfield deep and around toward right, and the 1-0 on the way to the plate. Swung on, long drive, right field, and this one belongs to the rest. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
Adam Dunn with a screaming line drive into the Cleveland bullpen in right field. And the Reds have done what appeared to be the impossible. His teammates are waiting on him. Jerry Naren is out of the dugout banging his hands together. Adam Dunn with a ninth inning two-out grand slam home run. What a finish at Great American Ballpark. The Reds have rallied to beat the Indians with nine runs in their last two at-bats. They win it nine to eight. We'll be back in a moment. 700 WLW.